35 years old, Matthew's immense contribution to South African culture is again being honoured with the publication of Age is a Beautiful Phase, a second edition of poetry by Matthews with images by photographers and cultural comrades Rashid Lombard, Benny Gould and George Hallett. He taught me how to stay young and youthful and be on your feet and think on your feet and be creative and it hasn't stopped. And our friendship started in 61 and we're still friends. That's why I donated those pictures to the book because it's a song of praise from a, from a man who was a role model, a father figure, you know, and who taught me so much. Age is a beautiful phase, is a graceful ode to growing old. It is also a testament to his indomitable energy. The part of even taking me out of the political revolutionary side, it is the revolutionary spirit that I've got that keeps me writing, keeps me accepting the age that I am and not develop a defeatism about age. So therefore, as long as I can manage whatever happens, I would still continue to write. The book was edited by Dr. Sheena O'Donnell of the Centre for Curating the Archive and co-hosted by the Gordon Institute for Performing and Creative Arts. For the first time, selective poems have been translated into Khoza and Afrikaans. The book includes a poignant tribute to artist and friend Peter Clark, who died in April this year. Of course, there was Peter Clark, Richard Reeve, the Sestafa writers I mentioned. There were other artists in the Cape Flats and further afield. But it was James Matthews who was like a guardian angel throughout all those years. The launch comes at a time when a generation of political and artistic luminaries are passing on bringing to an end one of the most turbulent yet creative eras in South Africa's cultural history. My use of words were weapons for all that they had done to people. Now I've reached what I would say a period of tranquility. I would sit on my doorstep and watch butterflies flutter all around me. Butterflies are my totem. For Matthews, growing old is a process to be embraced and celebrated. I have written 48 poems. When I read it, I'm amazed how did I get to that stage that I could write poetry of that nature. The poems are completely different to anything else that I've done in the past. So now, do I ask myself, well, apart from what is happening to me, this is also a stage of progress. And while his political edge might be softer, the blade of his poetic sword is still as sharp as ever. Hazel Friedman, Morning Live, Cape Town.